With harvest nearing completion in many areas, producers will soon be turning livestock onto stubbles. While crop stubbles provide a useful feed source over summer, it is important to be aware of some of the livestock health disorders that may occur and tactics you can use to avoid them. Animal health disorders encountered can be directly attributed to the stubbles and residual grain or to the weeds found growing within them. Grain spills occur commonly during harvest and if these spills aren't cleaned up, grain poisoning can occur as a result of rapid ingestion of large quantities of grain. I guess barley, is, um, barley and wheat are of higher risk than oats. Um, however, it is important to remember that oats would also cause grain poisoning, so just double check that there are no spills of grain left in the paddock after harvest. Livestock grazing stubbles may also be affected by disorders associated with nutrient imbalances. Uh, the next potential issues that we see on stubble in sheep is hypercalcemia, which is a result of an imbalance of calcium and phosphorus. The best way to prevent that is just to put out a loose lick of lime and salt. Um, another issue that we can see with prolonged grazing of cereal stubbles in weathers and rams is um, a condition called urolithiasis or water belly, which are basically bladder stones that will block the outflow of urine. Once again, the best way to prevent that is just with a loose lick of lime and salt. Residual lupin seeds remaining in the paddock may also be a source of poisoning to livestock through the development of lupinosis. The other important consideration is if you're grazing lupin stubbles, which can be highly nutritious, but given the wet year that we've had, um, lupinosis, which is caused by fungus growing mainly on the, on the stem and the leaf matter, but also to a lesser extent on the pods and seeds left behind, um, will cause liver disease in sheep. Um, and it is certainly of a higher risk when we've had a wet year. Many weeds can be found growing in stubbles. A number of these summer growing species can cause toxicities in grazing animals. Some of these weeds include heliotrope, hairy panic, catheads and lesser loose strife. Heliotrope has a toxin uh, called pyrolizidine alkaloids which will affect the liver. Um, it is an accumulated toxicity so it's not something that you generally see while they're grazing the heliotrope. It's something that um, will slowly present itself later on um, once 90% of the liver is damaged. Um, and then you'll see, um, in some situations, wasting of sheep and um, ill thrift and death, but more commonly it will result in an acute cough or toxicity, um, generally when the animals are stressed, such as pre-lambing. So heliotrope is important to avoid. Hairy panic and catheads will cause a similar type of poisoning. Um, weaners are most commonly affected, weaner sheep, um, as opposed to cattle. Um, and it affects the liver as well. It's an acute toxicity um, due to saponins uh, that accumulate in the plant. It generally is associated with warm, humid conditions as well. Um, and you will notice that there's um, ill animals, they quite often have photosensitisation with a swollen head um, and big ears, but their liver is also damaged. So some of these animals will die and it's just, it's important to avoid, avoid the situation if possible. Uh, lesser loose strife results in renal damage with ill thrift and losses. It is important to assess weed burdens and accurately identify weeds in any paddock prior to livestock being introduced. In some instances, it may be necessary to instigate weed control prior to letting stock into paddocks. It is critical to observe withholding periods where herbicides have been used to control weeds prior to livestock entry. If you are having difficulty identifying weeds or need strategies for their control, 
please contact your nearest local land service office.